Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Let's jump into today's download. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe and join our soul tribe. For those of you that are new, I am Brittany. I am your intuitive cosmic wifey. And here on my channel, I go through my downloads and I feel like I am a star messenger here to help anyone that is feeling lost, that is tapping into their purpose, that is coming out of destruction, I'm just here to send love, 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 and positivity. So let's jump in. I'm so excited. Whoever I'm speaking to, baby, you're a healer too. Comment down below, baby, I'm a healer too. Okay? You are getting grounded in your abilities. <clears throat> Whoever I'm speaking to, you are getting grounded in your psychic abilities. You're really starting to see what it is that you came here to do. And you're getting excited. You're getting more clarity on your gifts, how to use them, how to help others. And it's just beautiful. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, there is a lot of pain that you've dealt with in your past in regards to people shaming you, people love bombing you, people trying to cancel you or censor things that you're doing, saying, building, or making. And now you're realizing that you're a healer, okay? And no one's no one's going to be able to stop that. No one's going to be able to shame you out of your purpose. The download that I wrote down is they see your good luck. They're afraid of your next move. They see your divine favor. They're afraid of your next move. So keep your goals private. Okay, that is like one of the biggest parts of the download is keep your goals private. Big or small. You're trying to manifest a soulmate, okay? That ain't nobody's business. What you're putting on your vision board, what you're writing in your journal, that ain't nobody's business. You feel me? So these are the type of people that you were dealing with before. Okay, we have canceled love bombing, and slut shaming. Then we have finessing. You guys dealt with clowns, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you guys were dealing with clowns that really wanted to have the upper hand in your life. So you've had to overcome a lot with having to stand your ground with people that are constantly trying to finesse you. People getting slick, getting fresh, always trying to smooth out their bullshit, um, trying to steal what you're doing, buttering you up, persuading or charming you. You guys have had to deal with people trying to tell you that your the the way that you dress is wrong, the who you're dating is wrong, you're you're pr too provocative or you're too this or you're too that. So you guys are rebuilding. You guys have gone through a lot of restrictions in your first and second house, and so you guys are transforming now. You guys have gone through restrictions with your self-identity. You've gone through restrictions with your self-worth um, and how you release self-limiting beliefs with how you care for yourself. So you are putting in the work. What you truly seek is how to better take care of yourself, how to better love yourself. So I literally have first house, second house, rebirth, secrets, and divine union. Okay, we have love bombing and canceled. You guys have been dealing with some people that as you've been on this journey of healing, they don't even know what to do with you and your healing journey and your, your good luck and your justice and your karma. You're like walking karma. You're like walking justice. They need to back up while you're on this healing journey. You guys have been dealing with people that shower with you atten shower you with attention to influence your behavior. As I'm saying that, there are motorcycles going off in the background. Then it's hard to hear with the microphone. And then we have canceled. Dismissing someone or a situation, rejecting someone's idea, rejection, not interested, or boycotting. Somebody has been on a smear campaign. Okay. These could be people you're acquainted with, 
people that you're just getting acquainted with. But people in your past have definitely tried to do this to you. And so they know that there's something big coming for you. They know that there is. They just don't want it to unfold. And they're so terrified. You guys got people terrified. Okay, let me be clear. You guys have people terrified of what your next move is. So they will do anything to get a hint of what that is. Okay? Because your imagination, okay, whoever I'm speaking to, your imagination and rain terror on your enemies. So whatever you guys are writing down, jotting down, protect that. Okay? Protect your affirmations. Protect your, your ideas. Protect your goals from these sad ops that are doing the most to dig. But you're getting really grounded in your abilities. Maybe before you were like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just out here doing my thing. And now you're realizing what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be doing it. So let me show you what I got for you guys in your pre-pull. Okay, I want to show you guys your first four cards. Okay, so you guys could be an Aries or... I got Aries or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You guys are rebuilding your identity. You are going through a big transformation. But, like, you're going through big breakthroughs in how you show people who you are physically. Your self-identity is changing. You guys have all of these things that have been upheavaled different beliefs of who you thought you were. You're evolving. You have a new character that you're unlocking. You guys have seen, did you guys see that download that I did? There is a new character that you're unlocking. And this new character has all types of powers. And I've been telling you guys, these people are like, they're, they don't know what to do. They really don't. So I know somebody in the comments was like, oh my gosh, her doing that is too funny. And I saw it on a reel and now I'm like, I got to keep doing that. It's freaking hilarious. So it's like, Ugh. you don't just have their skin crawling. You don't just have their, their feathers ruffled. You have them at the Ugh, type of moment. You feel me? You are standing up for yourself. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you are learning to stand up for yourself. You're standing up for yourself and how you dress, how you treat yourself, and you got them bugging. Okay, this is them bugging, literally. And so your next card is the rebirth. This is your transformation. I feel like I always have to say this word a lot, but it's true. You guys are the butterfly. And people are like, oh my gosh, they were just a caterpillar, a caterpillar for so long. They were trying to stop you from becoming this butterfly. Now you're getting ready to fly away. And they're really going to lose their mind. Okay? Then these people are really going to lose their mind. Then we have secrets, silent, and shh. Okay? You guys are learning how to keep your ideas and your goals a secret. What you are working on. Okay, because someone here is working on calling in their soulmate. And because you guys have people watching you, okay, because you guys have people watching your transformation unfold, you're just going to be learning how to just keep it private and cute because they are trying to record. They're trying to figure out your every move because they are what? They are terrified of your next move. Comment down below. I am safe to love. I am safe to be myself. I am free to let my inner child play. I radiate passion and prosperity. I am limitless. Joy is my birthright. I respect and honor my body. You guys know what I always say. Keep it a buck. Keep it 1,000. My body is a work of art. Fuck with me. I'll break your heart. Okay? Keep it 100. 
If you like being bougie, if you feel like you have a fear of missing out, you're going to start authentically being like, you know, I am like that. That's something I'm working on. I have a fear of missing out. 11, 11 on the clock. If you guys like creating status, your core beliefs are different than others, you're going to be showing people like, I keep it 1,000. You are keeping it 1,000 by being authentic to you. You guys are on the zero, the zero you-know-what campaign. You are creating an image of wealth, upper class, finer things in life upscale. So you are just showing people, I don't like hidden motives, okay? I don't like hidden motives at all. And this is something that you are working on, this fear of missing out. You are learning to not put yourself in situations just because you have a fear of missing out. You are realizing that you don't need to win people over all the time. So this is also something that you're working on. You have a thing for maybe winning people over that you don't even like sometimes. And you're like, I don't care anymore. I'm not trying to win you over. You don't like me. You don't like me. So you were learning how to slay in your authenticity and then somebody here could be 36 um but you don't have to be we have you don't need somebody else to fix you this is what you guys are learning okay you don't need somebody else to fix you you don't need a relationship to fix you you don't need um a friend to fix you so you're learning not to Tell all of your friends your issues or your problems or tell certain people that don't care because they want you to have those problems and they want you to feel disempowered. So you're going to start empowering yourself again. Like, I'm not asking them what they think about this outfit. I'm not asking them what they think about this hair color. I'm not asking because you're not going to take the power away from yourself anymore. And what I'm seeing right now is you are being spoiled by the divine. You are being spoiled by God. It's like um, Stargirl always says, um, God is my sugar daddy, okay? You know, she's like, I don't need a man. God is my sugar daddy. I'm like, amen. Amen to that, okay? I feel like, sorry guys, I keep hitting the mic. Um, I feel like I am spoiled by God. So all beliefs are welcome here if you guys are new and get my messages from God and motorcycles. I get my messages from God and all beliefs are welcome here. Whether you believe in the divine, the universe, whatever higher power or yourself, it's all welcome here. So my job is just to help in any way I can. You guys are going to start think thinking before you offer others help. You're like, oh, you know what time it is? It's time to set healthy boundaries. Yep, that's what time it is. That's what time it is. You're going to start start um, standing up for yourself. You're like, I don't want to do all that extra work for them. So you're releasing, feeling the need to do all of these things. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could really like Disney movies. Cause I'm hearing birds singing right now. Birds singing and chirping also hearing that this morning when I was like should have been in bed but I was like on my phone <laughs> I was like oh the birds are singing outside so we have the office you guys are learning to delegate as you are grounding yourself in your abilities getting your next move ready okay you guys got some moves comment down below I got one in the hopper comment down below I got one in the hopper I am learning to delegate. I am learning to set healthy boundaries. I am thinking before I offer help. I don't need anyone else to fix me. I am keeping it a buck. I am keeping it 100. So yeah, I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're normally very charitable. And so people can really drain all of your energy because you're so kind and giving and charitable. Yeah, you're going to be more aware of that right now. I'm hearing an airplane. So as I'm saying that, that's telling me that you guys are getting ready to soar and you're releasing a lot of, I can't do that for you, I'm sorry. 
no fear of missing out. I don't need this person to fix me. You guys are just getting ready to take flight. And in order for you to do that, there are things that you have to unpack. I'm seeing that this new look you're going to be having is very exotic. Okay, you guys are going to be looking very like, I'm getting like Catwoman vibes. Very baddie. We have justice. Things are being balanced in your favor. So again, God, the divine's favor is all over your life. All over your life. You guys got some um, Decepticons, some haters in the back that they want you to make mistakes. Okay, they want you to give up. And so they're over here trying to get you tired like, oh, I need you to do this. I need you, I need you to do that. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. You're like, yeah, 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 I just can't do all of that because you know what will happen. You know that You'll make mistakes. You'll make errors. So what you're going to be doing is delegating more, doing less for others. You guys are getting ready for expansion. You are tapping into raw energy, raw growth. Comment down below. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it raw. Okay, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it raw. I am expecting good money flow, a raise, and a new job offer. Okay, comment down below. I am expecting good money flow, a raise, and a new job offer. I love that. You guys are meant to share your gifts with the world. Comment down below. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Okay, okay. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. People want you to specifically give to them and you're meant to give to the collective. You're meant to help the collective in some way. Ooh, I'm getting with your voice. Okay, so someone here could be a singer, a host, something in communication. So comment down below. I am the star messenger. I've been the star messenger. You feel me? I'm going to put this microphone down here because I feel like I'm shaking the table and I don't want it to fall or to be making all kinds of weird noises. Okay. Let's see if we get anything else for you guys. But yeah, you guys have a lot of good luck coming in after some major setbacks. And so people are just watching, like, uh, the people are watching you guys on pins and needles because they are terrified of your next move. So it's almost like you guys are keeping the magic contained until you're ready to be like, surprise. Okay, you are keeping the magic contained until you're ready to make your move. You guys are vibrating high right now. You're starting to see that some of these setbacks were to protect you and to move you from harm's way and to just help you rebuild and regain your strength. So tr speaking your truth right now is very important. We have the Cosmic Sapphire, 333, act with honor and integrity, speak your truth. I love that. I act with honor and integrity and I speak my truth. I act with honor and integrity. I am allowed to speak my truth. I'm hearing a lot of, oops, I'm hearing a lot of motorcycles. You guys are letting go. Okay, for anyone that's new on my channel, motorcycles are confirmation. They confirmation for me. When I'm doing these readings, okay, decisions. There are some very big decisions that you guys are going to be making to manifest your dreams, to trust in your abilities, and to stand in your power. 
comment down below. I am passionate about my vision. I stand in my power and I bring about positive change. I bring about positive change. I am focusing on my vision. I seek satisfaction and contentment. You are one in a million. So I'm going to finish with my deck. So you're grounding your imagination. You're grounding your healing abilities. You're grounding your voice. You're figuring out what your next move is. And you're not telling nobody nothing. I'm just seeing that you don't really trust people right now. But you have a lot of luck coming in. And I wrote that in your download. They see your good luck. They see your divine favor. They're afraid of what your next move is. So keep your goals private. Because you guys have some blessings coming in. And you might be very tempted to like tell people. But as you're leveling up, you're starting to see that not everyone's happy for you. And we know that when things are getting kind of crazy and we're dealing with new warfare, that we need to kind of like, oh, okay, I'm getting ready to level up. So let me just be kind of aware of what's, what's going on. So you're making sure that you're grounded. I, I really like that. Wow, I'm hearing another motorcycle. That's like five motorcycles. We have to pay attention. Okay, so that's telling me that someone here is clairaudient. Or that you are a seer and you really need to pay attention to what your confirmations are, how um, spirit or the divine or God communicates with you, how your ancestors or your guides communicate with you. Yeah, follow your intuition. Pay attention and follow your intuition. Pay attention to your intuition. Try new rituals for protection. Okay, I like that. So um, some of you guys are getting acquainted with your core values, your core beliefs, um, your spirituality. And so as you guys are getting ready to level up and you're feeling the heat wave of this new type of spiritual warfare, the new level, the new levels and the new devils on it, you're going to be trying out new rituals for protection, new prayers, new candles, new rituals, okay, new ways of cleansing and your um, spiritual hygiene, your spiritual routine. Oh my gosh, I knew this was going to come out. We have the microphone. So you guys are destined. Not only we, we got the microphone earlier in here. So your voice is being activated. You're supposed to follow your intuition. It's very important what it is that you're helping people with. And so you're supposed to be trending. So as your voice is being amplified, it's important that you are keeping it private, keeping it cute, trying new rituals for protection and paying attention to the signs and the synchronicities because you are a high priestess. You are a high priest. I love that. So you're um, maybe you're figuring out that you have a, another ability even though you wanted their love and approval, you don't need their validation. I feel like that's in regards to your enemies. There are some people that you cared about or that you thought were going to be here along the, the way with you. And you're realizing like, well, dang, well, that didn't work out. Okay. And you're just starting to see that some people, they don't know what to do with this new version of you. Pretty woman. They don't know what to do with this new version of you. Okay, so this is from the movie. And they're just like, well, who is this classy lady? Okay, so now that you are tapping into like, this is me. This is who I want to be. You can't shame me. You can't tell me nothing. People are like, wait, what? So you're realizing you're like, okay, back then it would have been nice. But now I don't care. Okay, back then it would have been nice. But now I don't care. You guys are the, um, what you're becoming is the galactic truth serum. Whoever was shaming you all the time as a child or in your earlier life, um, they're getting dealt with and people are starting to lose trust in them. Um, so I feel like those people that were doing this to you, they're really good at brainwashing people and make pe making people freeze and, and feel like they needed to be dependent on them. 
those people are being dealt with right now and they're being exposed. I like it. I was going to say something I just forgot. Okay, so yeah, these people that were putting you on hold, they knew that you had potential. That's, that's kind of how people are looking at you right now. They like they see that you have a lot of potential. They some of them have been able to see part of your future. They're terrified of your next move, okay? You're here to ruffle feathers. You're here to shake things up. You're here to be the galactic truth serum. Okay, you got these bitches. Ugh, like, you got them gagging. You got them gagging. But for real, though. Okay? Be careful of a friend. Be careful of a friend right now because they might be trying to bench your ass. And so just follow your intuition because you are being divinely guided right now. Okay, you are being divinely guided. You could be having a, a divine intervention with friendships right now and who you're going to, you know, be removing. So remember, they're watching. Okay, they're watching. And it's okay. You're going to give them a hell of a show. Let's give them something to talk about. Okay, comment down below. Let's give them something to talk about. But really, though, you guys, let me know what's going on in the comments. Don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation. I'm hearing another airplane. I never hear, like, three airplanes and that many motorcycles in a video that's, like, on the smaller end. Crazy. Anyways, you guys are getting ready to soar. You are the phoenix, period. Okay, you already know. You got them. <laughs> okay, so let me know what you guys have in the works if you feel like comfortable sharing it don't forget to smash the you know what hit the bell duh thank you guys for all of your likes your shares your subscribes and your cash app donations they don't go unnoticed i'm so appreciative and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys